Hello guys and welcome back to the Rock Mac Car Channel and this is my BMW E60. This in particular is a 2009 BMW 530i E60 and this is the LCI model which means it's the Life Cycle Impulse which is the latest version of the BMW E60. After 2010 they moved to the BMW F10. Now this is the most forgotten gem as in my books this is one of the best BMWs ever made. They're quite reliable and also they've aged quite gracefully. Now if you compare other vehicle manufacturers from that time period you can see how gracefully this car has aged and it still looks modern until today. Now this BMW came out in 2003 and there was a basic model with a smaller iDrive screen and this one is the latest iteration of the BMW E60 before they moved to the F10. Now before I get into it, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Smash this like button and also if you have got an E60, comment down below. All right, guys, with this one being the BMW 530i, it is equipped with a N52 B30 engine outputting 200 kilowatts of power, 272 horsepower, and 315 newton meters of power, which is pretty powerful for a mid-sized vehicle. Now, this in particular is the M Sport version, which does give you a lot of sportiness, and you can go around mountain roads and take real fast corners as well. So with this one being the M Sport model, you get the sports bumper on the front, you get the fog lights, the grill inserts down the bottom, and then going around here, you get your style 135M mag wheels. These are 18 inch by 8J, and this one is 245-4018. So those are pretty nice wheels. They do complement the car very well. And as you can see, there's very little suspension travel between the tire and the wheel arch as well, which is great for cornering. Going around this area. So this particular model has got the light package, which if you see under the wing mirror, the light will emit down onto the ground as you unlock the vehicle. Going around the back, as you can see, the back suspension is really nice as well. You don't have too much suspension travel and it's got double wishbone on the back making it quite stable around corners as well now you've got your side skirts down the bottom and now to buy the side skirts the bumper the rims and the rear bumper as well that will set you back around three thousand dollars as you can see it does look quite spotty on the back all right guys so going around to the back of the vehicle as you can see you got your m sport bumper on the back as well as your led lights being the lci version now on the lci you have got five led strips going around the back and on the pre-lci model is just crystal it doesn't have leds going around the back so let's open the trunk all right as you can see the trunk space is relatively large and is good to fit golf bags in as well as if you're going on a large trip with your family. That is a lot of space in the trunk that you can use. It's a very family friendly car. This is the thing about the M Sport. You get a family car with the sportiness to it as well. Now I'm not saying that this is the M car like the M5. I'm saying that this has got the M accents to it, like the suspension, the bumper, the wheels, the side skirt, and the steering, which I'm gonna jump into in a while. So this is the N52 engine under the hood, N52 B30 engine. Now this is the second generation of the N52. The first generation had a silver color cover rather than a black color one. 
and now this one has got its upgraded cylinder head and crankcase ventilation system as well so it's a newer engine but probably not as reliable as the older one but it's much smoother than the older one now it is a great engine and it's one of the most reliable bmw engines you can get however there is an achilles heel to the engine now this is your oil cooler housing and that's your oil filter housing so in between the oil cooler housing and the oil filter housing you get a gasket and in between the oil filter housing and the cylinder head you do have another gasket as well going back so those gaskets are prone to failure and what will happen is it'll start leaking and it'll start pulling up oil right over here now once that starts pulling it will drip down onto the serpentine belt below now with the design of the engine if the serpentine belt does swell and slip off as a result of the engine oil leaking then that's going to cause it to be consumed through the front end crank seal of the engine and that's the engine destroyed because it's going to clog up the oil pickup tube and that's it the engine is toast all right guys so basically it's one of the best engines but it's got some achilles seal i've done a specific video showing you what the good and the bad things are about the engine so make sure to check them out i'll link them down below so i'm just going to give it a start up right now so now i have done a lot of videos on this car when i have done maintenance so make sure to check them out now as you can see this is the engine running and this is mated to a zf6 transmission which is one of the best transmissions you can get now being the lci model you have got new updated headlights and tail lights as well all right guys so if you take a look at this mirror it's got the monochromatic mirrors which means that when it starts to rain or when it gets dark the mirrors will darken so it does reduce reflections all right guys so this is the interior of the vehicle now you've got your m sport sports seats and jumping into the vehicle you've got your m spot steering wheel right here as you can see that is quite loud and then you've got your iDrive screen it says active steering disabled because i've had the car parked for a long time and the battery is quite weak now you've got the e-gear from the 2007 model onwards october 2007 i believe so this is the e-gear model which means you can electronically control the gearbox so it's fairly easy to do. Push down once, press this button, push down once for drive, push it up one more time, and that's reverse. And a small push down will put you back into neutral. Now, if you put it into drive, and then you press this button and push left, that will put you into Tiptronic mode. So I'm gonna put it back into park, and all you need to do is press this one, and it'll put it back into park. As you can see, it's got dual zone climate control as well. And the aircon is really, really nice. As you can see it's powerful and blows really nice. And then you've got your radio right here. Little ashtray there with the 12 volt power outlet. Your trunk popper, your dynamic traction control, your heated seats. This is just your storage compartment. So as you can see, it's got active headrests. All right, so it's equipped with 10 airbags. So you've got a curtain airbag right here and there. So you've got four curtain airbags, driver, passenger, and four on the door for your torso airbags. All right, guys, so this is the back of the vehicle. As you can see, it is pretty good for five adults in total. Now four is better because you'll have a lot more space in the back. And as you can see, the active headrest so this is an electronically controlled seat and you've got all your controls right here with this spot seat you've got your headrest which is electronically controlled your lumbar support your base support and your thigh support as well so that's how the cockpit view actually looks so it is a pretty nice place to be it's got a thick steering wheel as well now we've got the sunroof which is really nice and this sunroof actually opens, but I don't want to open it now because a lot of crap is going to come into the vehicle. I need to get it washed first. So as you can see, 
looks beautiful on the inside of the car and it looks really modern by today's standards even and that's a view of the back seat now you've also got a rear sunshine blind on the back there you go all right guys that concludes the tour of the interior now i can make an in-depth video of this vehicle if you do like including a driving video so comment down below guys what you would like done to this vehicle consider subscribing if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one and i've got a lot of car how to diy videos see you later guys bye